By default, your WebEx attendees have very few privileges, but you have the ability in WebEx to change those privileges at any time. Let's take a closer look. In Meeting Center, there are three levels that have privileges attached to them. One is being the host. That's the person that invites everyone into the meeting and basically owns that meeting. Next is the presenter privilege, which you can assign to anybody. And then the third is the participant privilege. And this is just the basic privilege that people get when they come into your WebEx meeting. Well, if you want to have a collaborative meeting, we're going to want to focus in on how to change the privileges so that people can collaborate and interact with one another so you have a very successful session. Now we're looking at a live WebEx screen, and so let's go explore those privileges. First of all, you go find the menu that is Participant, and then select Assign Privileges. A new window will open. This window has two tabs, and we're going to take a look at each one. The Communication tab is really all about the chat, and you want to make sure that we can do more than privately chat with a host or the presenter or other participants. We want to make sure that we also have publicly chat with everyone. Make sure that is checked. That is extremely important for any kind of chat storming, open brainstorming, controlled brainstorming, just idea generation that we might want to use in, um, in chat. The other tab is for participants, and there are three different categories here. The first one is about the document. The annotate, if you check it, allows that annotation menu to be active. So when we are in a whiteboard, people can go ahead and just type on the screen as you command them. They also have print and save as options here. For small group meetings, I suggest you might want to go ahead and enable those as well. So everybody can have a copy of the file right away if they so desire. The second category is about viewing. Viewing the participant list is something that we do want. We do want to see who else is in the meeting. And so that should be checked, and it is checked by default. But the other three I would ask you to have a little bit more caution about. If you want people to view any document or thumbnails or any page during your meeting, this loses control. And so my suggestion to you is do not check any of these unless you are on break and then let you can go ahead and check those and let people kind of peruse through the various files and menus that are in the meeting itself. The third category are meetings. If you want people to be able to share documents uh, easily, you can click here. And if you plan on recording the meeting, click here and it will allow you to do that. Then just click assign and the privileges are all set. It's just that easy. So when you come into the meeting as the host and presenter, you have all of these privileges that are shown here on the screen. But your attendees don't have any of them unless you enable them. Which are the two most important? For group collaboration, you want to make sure the group chat and the whiteboard annotations are enabled. The next two on the list, save documents and print documents, those you probably want to let happen in your small group meeting. The remaining three, it's really your call. You can turn these privileges on and turn them off at any time so that the collaboration you're meeting is highly effective. As you master these techniques on how to operate WebEx, they're the basics. Everybody has to know those. But if you really want to make that meeting or presentation or training better than face-to-face, -face, we've got three training programs on screen here for you to look at. Just give us a call or send us an email, and we'd be happy to tell you much more about them. The better your virtual team collaborates, the better they perform. In fact, teams that collaborate at the highest levels are 36% more productive than teams that collaborate poorly. So now you know how to enable those participant privileges. Now go out and get your team to collaborate. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, and this is the end of this tutorial.